Imagine a future without mobility. Now imagine a future with good mobility services that are tailored to your individual needs, but at the same time are sustainable from an economic, social, and environmental perspective. That is how human-centric cities should look like. My name is Monica Menendez. I'm the Associate Dean of Engineering for Graduate Affairs, a professor of civil and urban engineering, and the director of the Research Center Cities at New York University in Abu Dhabi. Inspiration for my work comes from our everyday lives, but also from my travels. I have lived in many different cities and traveled to many more, and I have come to appreciate there are many different approaches to mobility, and no size fits all. If we want our solutions to really have an impact, we must tailor them to the needs, the culture, and the environment of the specific city. Seeing how different cities operate, I have come to realize that the important thing is focus on the mobility of humans, not the mobility of individual modes of transportation. In other words, we should be looking at mobility from a holistic perspective, seeing how the different modes of transportation all work together to provide the services that we need. So we have been collecting data for the last few years, and we have data already from over 40 cities worldwide billions of vehicles observation. One thing we have noticed is that at the aggregate level, traffic patterns in cities don't change much from day to day. And this allows us to predict traffic better and then implement strategies to reduce congestion in a proactive manner rather than reactive. We're deriving new data-driven insights and combining them with new technologies, say autonomous driving, electric vehicles, on-demand transportation, sharing platforms to address the mobility needs of the individual users while making the system more efficient. Teamwork is crucial for what we do. If we really want to have an impact on cities and transportation, we need to look into different disciplines. And no one is an expert on every relevant discipline there is. So we do need people from different backgrounds to come together to develop new solutions that wouldn't be possible otherwise. The biggest support I get comes from my family. When both spouses work full time and you have young kids, it's important that everyone is on board because you end up making a lot of sacrifices for the sake of research. My biggest motivation to do what I do is my kids, especially my daughter, because I work in a male-dominated field and I wanna show to girls out there that it's possible to pursue your dream, whether that is a conventional path or a very non-traditional path. The UAE doesn't only fosters innovation, but it thrives on it. If you think about research in transportation and cities, which better place to pursue it than the UAE? We're building cities as we speak, so there's a clear need for new solutions and the opportunity to deploy them. To all those young innovators out there, dare to dream. Don't be afraid to change paths or careers as many times as needed. It's never too late.